A friendly reminder that your promo code expires tonight. Please find your old email from two weeks ago and be sure to redeem your promo for 25% off. Boo! Let's change that message too. A friendly reminder that your promo code expires tonight. Be sure to redeem your code 25 for now for 25% off your next order. What's up everyone? My name is Alan, founder and consultant at For Now Marketing and welcome back to our channel. Before we get started, if you have any questions, whether you are currently using Braze or are considering using Braze, please feel free to reach out. You can find these addresses and more in the YouTube description below. Today, we're gonna to talk through how to log promo codes as a custom attribute, and this can be helpful for future reminder campaigns. Let's get started. Braze has a feature called promotion codes that allows us to upload a CSV of promotion codes to be inserted into our messages. And this feature allows us to easily send these codes in an email to our users, offering them an extra incentive to make a purchase. And one popular use case that Braze users often ask is, how can I send a reminder to these code recipients, including that exact code that they received previously? This reminder campaign is crucial to push users to use their code before they expire. And our goal is to make it convenient for our users to remember and use their code by referencing their specific code in the reminder campaign message. So in this video, we'll briefly go over the process of launching promo codes, as well as logging them as a custom attribute so we can easily send reminder campaigns in the future. First, we have to upload a list of promo codes to the Braze dashboard. And I generated a list of 25 random codes using ChatGPT, pasted them into Google Sheets, exported it as a CSV, upload them into Braze, and we are ready to go. Once our CSV has been uploaded successfully, let's copy the liquid code snippet and head over to create a new campaign. First, we need to inform our users about this new promotion code. So on this first message, we will also log the promo code as a custom attribute on their user profile so that we can send a reminder campaign in the future. So we're going to create a multi-channel campaign. It's very important that we choose multi-channel campaign and add in your desired message channel. Um, since I don't have access to email in my dashboard, I will send our promo code via a web push, but the idea remains the same. So I type in my copy and I'm going to paste in the liquid snippet that I got earlier from our promo code page. And that's what will bring the promo codes from our list into our messages. Now we are going to add the webhook channel. And once again, it's crucial that we're using a multi-channel campaign for this tutorial. And that is the only way that we're going to be able to grab the exact same promo code used in our web push message and log it as a custom attribute in our webhook. This will use the exact same promo code for both the web push channel and the webhook channel only if the messages are sent in the same batch. And that's why it's crucial to use a multi-channel campaign or a canvas step. Create a webhook channel and change the request body dropdown to raw text and paste the code snippet below found in the description. And make sure to fill in the rest of the webhook URL and the two KVPs under the settings page. And for more information on how to fill in the webhook URL and the KVPs, please watch this YouTube tutorial, which will cover all of this setup. But what this webhook is doing is grabbing the exact same promo code that's being sent in our messages and logging that as a custom attribute on the same user profile. And the custom attribute is called promo underscore code. And this way we can always reference this code later since the code will remain on the user profile as a custom attribute. Since this is simply a test launch, I will schedule to launch immediately to my specific external ID. I'm going to go ahead and launch and I will be receiving the message with the promo code as a web push. And I just got that. My code is 789GH1 or GHI. Here is a screenshot of the web push that I just received, 789GHI. And we can also confirm that our custom attribute promo code is the matching 789GHI. So we know that that webhook launched successfully. So we are now ready to send a reminder campaign at any time. Create a campaign and choose any message channel that you'd like. And this time we are reminding our users about their promo codes and the message will include the promo code so that the users can access their codes conveniently. So I'm gonna build a web push and my message will say, don't forget to redeem your 25% off promo code. And I will add the liquid personalization, look for a custom attribute called promo code. Once we send this reminder message, the promo code that was logged as a custom attribute on our profile 
will copy directly onto this message, replacing this liquid snippet. I'll send the test to myself. And this is the reminder campaign that I just received with the exact same code as my original promo code campaign. So that concludes our tutorial. I just have two final notes to make. One, please keep in mind that this use case works best when there's only one outstanding promo code sent to your users. If your user has received multiple codes, then only their most recent code will be logged as a custom attribute. And two, each promo code logged as a custom attribute will incur one data point. That's it for today. As always, if you have any questions, please share them in the comments. We're happy to help. If you learned something from this video, then please subscribe for more awesome Braze videos in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.